So, um, talking about uh, the different types of cholecystitis, uh, we said that there is one that there will be inflammation of the gallbladder, and it will actually show up with some symptoms. And there will be one that there will be inflammation of the gallbladder, but there will be no symptoms and all that. All right. So, the one that there will be no symptom is actually what we, is known as what asymptomatic. You know those symptoms of abdominal pain, fever, and all the stuff, right? So, for this asymptomatic cholecystitis, there's cholecystitis, but there, there are no symptoms, okay? So, we talk about a possible treatment for this medical condition that will actually be corny because there are no symptoms, so I, I term it corny, all right? So, um, treatment for asymptomatic cholecystitis. This is inflammation of the gallbladder without symptoms. So, there's inflammation of the gallbladder. But there are no classical symptoms, right? So let's talk about the possible treatment. Uh, the treatment is often debated, and the approach may vary depending on the individual circumstances at hand. Okay, so you could do some watchful waiting. This is when you are monitoring for symptoms and liver function tests, right? N um, in this type, no immediate treatment is needed or necessary. Okay, then you could do some elective cholecystectomy. That's removal of the gallbladder even if there's no symptoms. So it's elective. You are kind of like trying to weigh the risks and all the stuff, okay? So it is recommended for patients with a history of gallstones or cholecystitis. So if it is this type of cholecystitis that is reoccurring again, but there are no signs and symptoms and all that, then you might want to just opt in for removal because you know that these patients will always have it again, all right? Then those with a high risk of developing symptoms and complications too, you remove it. Then individuals that you have heard that other family members have suffered from a similar condition or other families have suffered from gallbladder cancer. Because usually gallbladder cancer will start from inflammation and the series will go like that. So you might just want to remove it like that. Okay. And in doing this, laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the preferred surgical method. Okay, then medical management, you can give the usodiol, that also deoxycholic acid. And if you are giving these medications, you want to actually dissolve the small gallstones that are there. Then you can also give statins just to reduce the cholesterol levels and prevent stone formation. Then you can observe with periodic imaging, all right? That's ultrasound or CT scans to monitor the gallbladder size and stone growth, okay? So now, factors influencing treatment decisions include patient age and overall health, gallstone size and number, gallbladder function and wall thickness, presence of other health conditions. Like if the patient has some other underlying health conditions, you might just want to um, take some right decisions in trying to treat it. Then, if the patient has a family history of gallbladder disease or cancer. Then you might want to actually do what just up in for cholecystectomy. All right, so that's it about what treatment for asymptomatic cholecystitis. See you guys pretty soon.